Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel of Archangel Gaming. We are looking today at another deck profile and this one is coming from our locals with Joe Kaiser. You might remember him from the channel before. I'll slap a thumbnail right here so you can see him. Steve the Pirate. Well he's back at it again with another updated list for Crusadia. And uh, ran the gauntlet again today at locals and got top four. And I think he lost in top four. So uh Top four was pretty much almost all Dogmatica. I think there was Eldritch Dogmatica invoked, Dogmatica, another Eldritch. Him, of course, another Eldritch Dogmatica. Invoked Dogmatica again, Mech Knight and Zephra. So as you can see, this locals is pretty much just Dogmatica. Um, so he did really good. And I uh, just wanted to bring the deck list to you guys because I like Joe. And we were actually just talking about this recently, which is kind of cool. Because he switched over to Orcus for a little bit and... I guess he's back to Crusadia, which is nice to see. So let's just run down the, <clears throat> run down the deck list real quick. Um, just basic lineup of kaijus. You got the big ones pretty much. Because I feel uh, we'll go over there afterwards. Um, Jizukuru, the Thunder King, um, Dogaran, Gamma Seal, and Radeon are your five that you play. Uh, and then, of course, you play Triple Parallel Exceed. And then for Crusadias, you're just going to play three of all of them. Uh, three Maximus, Draco, Leonis, Arborea, and Reclusia. And then for Hand Traps, we have two Ash and then two Ghost Mourner, as well as three Imperm. And then her spell lineup is just one Rota, double Desires, one Avarice, one Reborn, triple Droplet, one Power, and one Revival. Here's where the uh, gets a little interesting. The extra deck. Um, you're playing the basic lineup for Crusadius, Triple Magius, one Spatha, um, one IP Mascarena, one Regulex, one Halka Fibrax, two Equimax, and one Astrum or Avermax. I don't know why it hasn't updated the picture yet. And then for the rest of it, you have a Rafflesia, Cyber Dragon Nova, Quantum Dragon, Entes, and Mechaba. And then lastly to the side, you got triple Nibiru, one Pank, triple Lancia, triple Lightning Storm, Feather Duster, uh, Grave Diggers, and triple their Chameleon One. So, right off the bat, we're going to talk about this, some interesting tech choices here. Since the locals here is tailored mostly to Dogmatica, it makes sense why he's playing cards like Entes, obviously, in the extra deck, as well as Nova. <clears throat> and the theory here would be if they, well, I forgot his name. When they, I think it's Maximus, yeah, right? Is that his name? Yeah, when your opponent drops Maximus, and uh, you're able to send two cards from the extra deck, you can send an end test to pop one card in their field as well, and then you can send Nova from your extra deck, and then trigger his effect to get out Mechaba to set up a negate during your opponent's turn, which is pretty decent. So, a nice little interruption there. It's a pretty cool tech choice. Um, if you don't already know about the Mascarena play, if you're forced to go first with, um, with Crusadia, generally what they will do is set up IP Mascarena with um, either Spatha or Regulex. And then during your opponent's turn, you'll use IP Mascarena's quick effect to go into Abramax. And that'll just make a monstrosity on the board who can't be destroyed or it's really hard to get I don't think you can get over him in battle unless you're like a normal summon monster which I don't know what's getting over 3,000 normal summon these days um, so yeah that's that's pretty much that package now uh, Rafflesia was an interesting choice here um, if you if you play trap tricks in general you know that Rafflesia is almost always your fifth summon if you're running the uh, parallel exceed combo here so the idea with that would just be to summon one Crusadia, link into Magus, and then perform your full Parallel Exceed combo. Um, and then you would make Rafflesia before proceeding to keep going into combo. And what this will do is protect you from getting Nibiru, since this deck definitely pumps out more than five summons in one turn. So another interesting little tidbit there. Uh, the rest of the deck is pretty straightforward. I mean, I see that there's, there's for the most part, it's a budget deck. Um, because obviously you can just replace Imperm with Veilers. Um, everything got reprinted in the Megatins down here almost, so this is all pretty decent. 
Uh, the only real, obviously the real big money cards, which is like pretty much either half a rent payment or uh, droplets and lightning storms. Um, I'm not 100% sure what I, I would suggest for replacing these with. Personally, I mean, these the deck re really wants to go second. So if you can find a good replacement for going second cards, you know, by any means. If you have a talent, you can use that too, of course. Um, if you guys can think of anything, drop that in the comments below and we'll have a discussion about that too. Maybe I'll add a little caption over the video. So, um, oh, another, uh, another little interesting thing I saw here was uh, there can be only one. Which is another interesting thing because uh, Psychic, Warrior, Beast, Dragon, and Spellcaster. Same thing here, we got Spellcaster, Beast, Cybers, and then Cybers. So this is cool. Uh, if they force you to go first because you're play they know you're playing Crusadia, which some people will try to do to you, um, you can at least side in there can be only one. And this hurts a lot of meta decks right now, I would say. So not a bad choice there either. Um, that's pretty much about it. Yeah. The deck's pretty much straightforward. It's either go first, make Aver max pass, or go second and try to win in one turn because you don't want to go any further than that. So, anyway, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop it a like and click subscribe to stay tuned for updates on our locals here. And if you have any comments, be sure to drop them in the comment section below. And I will see you next time, guys.